it's hard to ignore all the conversations around me when I find it so intriguing to listen to others, especially when they don't realise that someone is listening. So what you just said again, I wasn't listening. Okay, so we like know it's bad luck to open an umbrella inside a house. Yeah. Okay, so is it also bad luck to open an umbrella in, say, I don't know, a car or a train? I mean, is that still classes inside? I don't know. But don't you hate it when, like, you're sitting in a train, there'd be, like, five empty seats, and someone would come and sit mm. right next to you? I mean, mm. what is that shit? You know, it should be fucking illegal or something. I know, I know. I used to get to 582 Trams Uni, and this festy old man would come and sit right next to me every morning. I mean, it happened too many times to be a coincidence. It was like, it was almost like as if he knew what time I was going to be on the tram or something, you know? Have I already told you this story? No, I don't think you have. After a while, I had to start catching a later tram. And eventually it affected my education. Did you ever say anything to him? Yeah, once. Really? No, <laughs> just kidding. Oh, actually, there was this one time when I wanted to confront him. I just had enough. But he wasn't on the tram that day. The thing that shits me about public transport is that they always come two seconds after you light a cigarette. Oh. And it always smells like he pissed himself. I'm serious. Sometimes he even had chunks of vomit stuck in his beard. Mm. Can I have a drag? used to take our school photos when we were younger. They're fucking evil people, they're always so fucking rude. Stand there, do this. They're those kind of people who'd never empty their McDonald's trays after eating. Just leave everything on the table and not bother throwing anything in the bin. Hey, I forgot to tell you about the toilet revelation I had. What the fuck's a toilet revelation? You know, it's when you... Okay, you're sitting there, you're doing your thing, you just come up with the most bizarre things. You know, things, like realisations you never normally have. I had a revelation too yesterday, although it wasn't a toilet one. But anyway, I was looking through all my newspapers and... You know what bugs me about watching Hey Hey? It's in every commercial break, you know, Hey Hey it's Saturday. It's just a constant reminder that you're home watching the TV on Saturday. You know, doing something else. <laughs> that I wanted to tell you before, but I can't remember what it is. I think it happened sometime this morning. Well, now that you've told me it was funny, I probably won't laugh. <laughs> well, excuse me, Rama. You said it'd make my head stronger. Again, that continuous question with no answer that I'm always asking myself. What's the meaning of life? It's like we eat through all the stages in life just to gather points for survival. But whether we win or lose, the next stage is always awaiting us. What kind of biscuit was it anyway? Hey, do you reckon it's like bad luck to have an umbrella inside a car or a train? You already asked me this question earlier in the film. Yeah, well, Mrs Smarty, if I did, what was your answer then? I can't remember. I probably wasn't listening. Now that deserves a horse of a different colour. As I sit here patiently waiting for my turn to arrive, the anticipation of death towards my opponent occurs within. 
These feelings cause me to acknowledge abnormal thoughts. How I long for the death of another. Shit. There are many times when I talk to people, even though I know they're not really listening, or are they? 